Breakfast at Alien Compass, then Epcot to save the galaxy. Lunch at La Creperie de Paris, a new restaurant for us. And then on to Moonlight Magic at Typhoon Lagoon. Welcome to day four. Good morning and welcome to Walt Disney World Adults Only. If you don't know already, I'm Dan and this is... David. And today we are at Disney's Yacht Club where we're staying. We're just gonna head down for some breakfast Alien Compass before we head off to... Epcot. Epcot. So come and join us for breakfast. David, where are we now? Alien Compass. And what, uh, and what are we going to have? Breakfast, but we don't know what yet. Breakfast? Yeah. We're going to have a look. <laughs> are we going to do what? Have a look. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so so far we have got some coffee with the cutest little bottle. We've got that a milk bottle in the UK, but he says it's full of cream, so uh, that's really cool. A little cute bottle of cream. Um, so the way it works in here is you can go a la carte and order from the menu, or you can go for the buffet option, where you get access to the buffet that's got lots of um, pastries, fruits, parfaits, uh, lots of other bits on the buffet plus a uh, main entree as well. So it's $23 if you want to have the buffet, an entree and a drink. Or if you want to order off the menu, the prices were around $15 to $20 just for an entree alone. So we've both gone for the buffet. $23, uh, including the drink and obviously the buffet offerings just seems like a bit of a better deal. So we're going to do that and we'll let you know what we think very shortly. So we've got Greek yogurt with black rares, overnight oats, Selection of fruit. We have some, they look like little biscuits now, they? Cheddar biscuits. Sausage gravy. Morning. Alright, some little cinnamon rolls there. It looks really good, doesn't it? Got some little cake and some assorted muffins. Then we have some croissants, some butter and some jam, and then some fruit to take it away as well. How's your salmon bagel? So what did it come with? Chips. And what did you think you were going to get? Chips. <laughs> As in French fries? As in French fries. So... I read that wrong. You read that wrong? Yeah. How, For how, being in America. How are your chips? I don't know. You want one? No, no. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Such a big mouth. <laughs> Okay, just to give you our thoughts on our breakfast at Ail and Compass, I think it was really good. Um, I'd heard great things about Ail and Compass, more about the dinner than the breakfast, um, so we wanted to give it a try. There wasn't a space in our itinerary to do the dinner there, because there were places that we wanted to go more. But yeah, breakfast was really good, our server was really nice. Um, the buffet selection, 
not the best buffet I've seen at Disney, but it was reasonable. If I went again, I probably wouldn't bother with the buffet. I'd probably just stick with the entree. Um, what about you? What do you think about the buffet option? Very limited. I think would you could probably would you, even would you, do without it and not really miss it, couldn't they? Yeah, but that's kind of how I felt. It was kind of an extra couple nice of pots of yogurts and pastries and some fruit, and that was about it. Yeah, so for the extra few dollars, it's not the end of the world, but I probably wouldn't do that again. I wouldn't say you get a lot for your money. In terms, really, of, in the, terms of the buffet. Yeah, no, I would agree with that. Um, I would agree with that. The French toast on its own would have been about $15, but uh, as the buffet, it was 23 We got DVC discount of 10% off of our bill as well. Um, so it wasn't um, terribly expensive for Disney breakfast. I'm quite stuffed though. Um, I had the caramel apple French toast, which is something I saw on the menu before I booked it and really wanted to try. Glad I tried it. It was um, very sickly sweet. Came with two sausages as well. Uh, quite a lot of food. Probably wouldn't get it again. It's one of those things I wanted to try, but probably wouldn't go back for. But yeah, it was it was nice. What did you think of your salmon bagel? Yeah, it was nice. I was glad I went for that and didn't go for like a sausage bacon thing because it was still quite light. Yeah. So. so out of 10, what would you give Ale and Compass breakfast? Uh, eight, I think. Eight? Yeah. I think I would go seven for Ale and Compass breakfast. It was good. Um, what I didn't ask you yesterday was, what would you have Citricos out of 10? Uh, 10. 10? Yeah. Yeah, Citricos for me was a solid 10 as well. As I said in our closing um, vlog last night, in uh, last week's episode, um, Citricos is rivaling California Grill for me now. So uh, Citricos was a 10 out of 10. Anyway, we're now just walking up to Epcot. Short walk from the Yacht Club. We've got our first Genie Plus booked for Frozen Ever After. We're in the virtual queue for Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. We have a call back time expected around 12 p.m., which is wonderful. Uh, you want to go and see Nemo and friends and do the aquarium, don't you? Yeah, if we've got At time. At the seas. Uh, and I'd like to take him on Mission Space as well, but I'm not sure he's going to be up for that. But but we'll, we'll talk about it. Mission Space? What is that? <laughs> we'll talk about it. Yep, so uh, follow along today. We'll keep you updated on our plans today. We're going to be at Epcot for the morning and lunchtime bit of pool time at the Yacht Club this afternoon and then we're going to be doing the Moonlight Magic at Typhoon Lagoon tonight so another busy day but really exciting as well. Okay just as we're walking to our first Genie Plus this morning Frozen Ever After we need to talk about this eyesore in the middle of the lake. Now Harmonious was excellent but so was Illuminations, and so to a degree was Epcot Forever, but we didn't need all this rubbish in the middle of the lake. I don't think it is worth spoiling the view for all day for a 15 minute fireworks show at night. Just walking up to Frozen Ever After. It's 9.40 in the morning. We've got a lightning lane entry for this. You got it? Very good. What are you going on now? Frozen. Excited? Is it good? Where's your boat? Don't trip. 
Elsa wants to give us all some fun. She's making everyone a snowy summer day. So we just did our first Genie Plus attraction of today, which was Frozen Ever After. We literally walked straight onto it, didn't we? Yeah. 45 minutes is the current wait time for standby line. So that was quite a good use of our first Genie Plus for the day. Um, what did you think of Frozen Ever After? Yeah, it was great. Really good. It was your first time in forever riding it, wasn't it? Mm, first time in forever. First time in forever. You got a bit wet, didn't you, as well? I did, yeah. <laughs> I saw it all dry in two seconds in this heat. <laughs> We're going to head to Mexico now um, to do the Grand Fiesta tour uh, and then we're trying to book a next Genie Plus for uh, Test Track although because it's Disney Plus Day they've done some kind of update to the app and it's been really really glitchy this morning which is a bit annoying so um, trying to get anything done on the My Disney Experience app today is really hard because of this update they've put on it hopefully that will sort itself out as the day goes on uh, we're going to try and get Test Track as our next one uh, and then just chill out at Epcot really and just have a little walk around. Everything has got such low wait times this morning. Um, Soaring is only a 10 minute wait, Living with the Land 5 minutes, Spaceship Earth 5 minute. Um, so there's lots of rides that we can just walk on today. Figment is 5 minute. Um, what's the other one over there that we were just talking about? Oh yeah, the Finding Nemo is 5 minutes. So we've got lots and lots of low waits this morning. Um, so we will try to get quite a few rides in uh, while it's not so busy. Best the price. That's a that's a restaurant. So you can sit there on the on the water. Just a 
adjusting that so it's straight. How much are they? Yeah. 9.95. Look at how cute this is. What is it? It's just a little snug for the baby. It's so cute. We're not having a baby. No, not ours. <laughs> John <laughs> Hannah's. Oh, are you get them one? How much is that? 20 bucks. Can you get them one? Tiles. A, B and C, David, is the three different theatres they've got for this ride. So they've got oh. three different screens. But the same. All the same, yeah, yeah. But it just uh, helps manage the queue. Yeah. Previously, they only had one or maybe two. That's and I then think. they built an additional one. So uh, that sped up the wait time for this massively. <laughs> My name is Patrick, and I'll be your chief flight attendant today. We'll begin boarding in a few minutes, but first I'd like to acquaint you with some important safety information. When the doors to your flight open, please take a seat and store all carry-on items in the underseat compartment. This includes cameras, purses, hats, and of course, these little beauties. <laughs> Get like a little thing. We're going to taste them all. So let's start with do do the watermelon one first. Cross the bottom for me. What is this from around the world? Yeah, it tells you on the thing. Is this from the Philippines? Really? We'll share one though. Oh no. <laughs> what do you think of that? They shouldn't have that one, should they? <laughs> It's strange. Let's try that. Cucumber Sprite? I'm surprised I haven't got rid of that. That's really nice. Cucumber Sprite. Is that? Try the China. China. Let's do Beverly next. Boston Beverly? Oh, I've got two cups. Boston Beverly? <laughs> this is from Italy. Got that? Yeah. Like that one? Mm. Let's try one more. You want to try China? Mm-hmm. Sour plum tea. I'm sorry. I keep forgetting I've got to push you for you. Oh, don't like that. Yeah, That's not good. It's disgusting. Yeah. Good night. So David, I've got to tell you one thing now. The Beverly is a famous disgusting drink that everyone tricks their friends into trying because it tastes so horrible. And I was trying to trick you into trying it and you liked it. No, it's nice. <laughs> is it really? Yeah, it's a famous it's, not horrible. it's a famous egg coffee. You always try to trick new people. The other night when we were here with Steph and Mike, they're going, oh the Beverly's lovely, you gotta try the Beverly. And uh, I, I thought I'd give you a little guard of Beverly. I thought you were going to spit it out. And you were like, oh, no, no it's, it's nice. nice. <laughs> there you are, people. You heard it here first. We found somebody who loves the Beverly. Nice, good. Now we're perfect. So because our magic band pluses interact with the statues, when we approached it, it spoke to us.
Okay, a bit of time has passed since we last checked in with you. So um, at Epcot, we did um, quite a few rides, didn't we? We did Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, which we did um, using the virtual queue. And I have to just tell you, there's a big difference between using the virtual queue and paying for a lightning lane. When we paid for the lightning lane, we whizzed straight through, didn't we? Uh, literally straight through. Um, and then when we did the virtual queue, we waited a long time, didn't we? Even once we got inside. 25 minutes. Then when we did the pre-show, and then we still waited a long time, didn't yeah, we, to actually get on the ride. Ages. So we had a um, Genie Plus booked for Test Track. Um, and because of how long it took us uh, from entering the virtual queue until we rode and got off, uh, we actually had to cancel Test Track. Uh, there just wasn't time before lunch, was there? So. We cancelled that one, which is a bit of a shame because we like Test Track now a lot. I didn't used to, but I, I really enjoyed it the other day. We did um, the Grand Fiesta Tour uh, yeah. in the Mexico Pavilion. What do you think of that? I, it's good. It's nice to, to sort of, you know, sit and go around and relax mm. and get out of the heat. I suppose if it's a really hot day, it's a mm. good one to do. You see now, don't hate on me. But if I was in charge here, that would be gone tomorrow. I think that's absolutely dated. I hate the screens that they've got on the ride. It's just lazy. Disney, if you're watching and you want some Imagineering advice from somebody who's got no experience in Imagineering <laughs> at all, then I would say get rid of that tomorrow. Um, we did Reflections of China. Oh yeah, that was, that was good. Mm, that like was really that, good. Just to see all the different parts of China and things, it was quite interesting. So and then we went on and did Soaring. Soaring as well, uh, and that was a really low weight. In fact, I don't think there was a queue at all. We advertised us 20 minutes, but we walked all the way through, uh, and we didn't stop once, did we? So there was, there really was no wait for that. So that was really cool. Uh, and then today we had lunch at La Creperie de Paris, which is the new table service restaurant in the France Pavilion in the Remy's Ratatouille area of the park. And I was pleasantly surprised. Um, just wait for this. Just wait for, wait for this truck to go past, making lots of noise in the background. Um, I was pleasantly surprised. I'd heard fairly negative things about it, mainly from Jackie, who doesn't love it. Um, but I did love it. Not enough that I want to rush back there. Uh, I'm not saying, oh God, it's a must do for every trip. I enjoyed it. I thought it was a, a nice restaurant. It did lack a little bit of atmosphere inside. It wasn't the best theming inside. The staff, however, were lovely. Yeah. Um, I love they speak to you in French, uh, which is great. They are uh, French. Well, they are French, but they, they speak to you in French yeah. and, and they say merci, merci beaucoup, and bonjour monsieur. Is he fluent, are yeah. we? <laughs> très, très bien. <laughs> uh, so I, I love that. It, it did feel authentic because they were French. Um, and the menu was really good. I actually had the free course uh, fixed price menu, which was about $35. Uh, and with that, I got a appetizer. So you get a soup or a salad. Um, then I had a galette, which is a savory crepe, and then a sweet crepe for dessert. And that also came with a cider as well. So I had that, you had the soup, uh, you had a savoury galette yeah. and you had a glass of wine, didn't you? Chardonnay. So tell me about your food. Or, well, not, not me. Tell our lovely viewers about your food. Uh, the soup was really good. I thought, it was, when they said cauliflower, I thought, okay, it's potentially going to be a bit bland and boring. It wasn't at all. It was very peppery and garlicky and full of flavour. It was really good. And the croutons were nice as well, weren't they? Yeah, I had the soup as well. Um, and I missed that she said it was cold. Um, cold cauliflower soup. So I've yeah. never had cold soup before. Um, but yeah, I, I, quite, I, quite, I quite liked it. I have to be honest, I did quite like it. Um, I didn't hear her say it was cold, so when it first came up and I got a spoonful, I was blowing it to try and cool it off before I put it in my mouth, which was I didn't see that. quite entertaining. And then the first mouthful of realizing I was having cold soup um, was hilarious, so yeah. Uh, and then what did you, how was your galette? What did you have? And then I had the, that's Typhoon Lagoon. Yeah. So I'll shortly tell you where we are and why. We are now on a bus, so anyway, Back to your galette, tell us about it. Yeah, I had the, um, what was it, egg, egg, ham, 
and cheese. Cheese, yeah. Classic. Classic. Um, really good. It's <coughs> quite a lot though. Again, it was quite big for me, really. But I did also have a massive breakfast of smoked salmon, bagel, and cream cheese, and didn't I? Yeah. So, but no, it was really good, and it was the right thing for me to choose as well. I, I couldn't have had a sweet one. Um, obviously, I had the cauliflower soup as well, and then I had the chevre galette, which was goat's cheese, spinach, and walnuts, and I absolutely loved it. The galettes are made with buckwheat, so if you don't like buckwheat, this will not be the place for you. But yeah, absolutely loved it. It was really, really tasty. And then for dessert, I had the peach. So it had peach and then mixed berries. Yeah, it was really good. It looks so. Nice. So, uh, well, what did it look nice? You, you shared it with me. I didn't share. I had a, I had a spoonful. <laughs> he had more than a spoonful, but but yeah, it was really, really tasty, and I'm really glad we went now. I'm not going to rush back on our next trip. Are you going to rush back? If I was going to go there again, I'd probably prefer to go for breakfast. If I went there again on our next trip, I think I would probably go to the walk-up window and get the quick service version and take it away. And you probably wasn't aware there's a, a quick service version as well there. Well, I saw, well, the other day when we walked past, I saw people sat outside. Right, okay. With the chocolate ones. Yeah. Out of 10, I think I would give it an 8 Yeah. Um, for what it was. Um, it was good, it was tasty, the staff were friendly, um, service was really good, food, yeah, so I'm going to give it an 8. It's going to be an 8 for me as well. After we finished in there, our plan was to go and have some time by the pool at the Yacht Club this afternoon, but the weather had very different ideas for us, sadly. Um, yeah, the weather has been horrendous all afternoon. Thunder and lightning. Courtney and Taylor have both arrived today. Courtney from Indianapolis and Taylor from Pennsylvania. So I am solidly blaming those two for bringing this bad weather with them. So we didn't end up down by the pool. Instead, we stayed in our room, did some packing as we move resort tomorrow. We're moving from Yacht Club to Animal Kingdom Lodge. Looking uh, forward to that. Yeah. And we're going to have a savannah view uh, in a one bedroom villa, so lots of space. So we've been doing some packing, ready to move resort, and also calling our family uh, back home in the UK to tell them our news uh, regarding our engagement yesterday. So we've spoken to all of our family and told them what happened, which is great. And uh, now it's still pouring with rain, but there is no adverse weather warning now. So we are now on our way to the Moonlight Magic Party at Disney's Typhoon Lagoon. And, you know, people have been telling us, if you're gonna be going on the water and getting wet, the rain isn't gonna to make too much of a difference. So we're braving the weather and we're gonna go and have a go at the party. I'm not sure how long we'll stay, uh, but we're gonna go, we're gonna take the GoPro with us and do some filming on that. So the sounds won't be great on the GoPro, um, but certainly at the end of the night, we'll come back and give you an update to tell you uh, what we thought of Moonlight Magic. Excited? Yes. What yeah. are you most excited to do tonight? Uh, I know, I know this. Hush and gusher. Hush and gusher. Cool. So we're on our way to the party and uh, we'll let you know how it is. So we have arrived at Typhoon Lagoon and it is still raining <laughs> and we're getting very wet as we're walking to the entrance. Um, this is going to be a very interesting night that I don't think we're going to forget in too much of a hurry. Especially um, after last night. Yeah, after last night, this is a complete different experience, isn't it? Yeah. But hey, we're here. Let's go and see what's going on. <laughs> and what's the event we're here for? Moonlight Magic. <laughs> oh, can you hear the music? We need them. Is there a party on the beach? 
Oh, do I just have a hip pin? No, I don't think so. sure? sure how well you can hear this but we are loving the party at Moonlight Magic at Typhoon Lagoon they've got free popcorn ice cream and drinks available for everyone that's attending um, we've been in the lazy river they've got some funky new floats uh, you was on Kevin weren't you David I and I had a dragon uh, yeah, which yeah. are really cool you don't see those normally uh, we've been in the wave pool that was awesome and now we're doing the uh, crushing gusher for the second time um, we're going for coconut this time so yeah I'll try and film it for you but I don't know um, how well it'll come out David steering if you've seen David driving you'll know that this is not the best idea
know what you did, so I'm turning the radio up Don't wanna hear, it's too late for apologize Lately I've realized that what goes around Okay, it's 11 p.m. and we've just got back to the Yacht Club from Moonlight Magic. I have to say we've had a really great time at Moonlight Magic at Typhoon Lagoon. We're going to tell you all about that in the morning as it's so late. David's just having a quick shower before we go to bed. I just want to sign off and say thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you like our channel, please ensure you're subscribed. There'll be lots more vlogs in this series to come. And as always, remember, never grow up.